สวัสดีค่ะ and good afternoon and we are back again for another English language summary of the live press briefing from the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration or the CCSA. Today's briefing is from Friday, the 13th of August, 2021, and I'm following the summary of the CCSA operational meeting this morning by Dr. Tui Sin, uh, the spokesperson for the CCSA, and another weekly summary of the vaccination progress in Thailand by Dr. Chawet San Namwa, the Director for Division of Disease Control from the Ministry of Public Health. Um, let me start with a short summary of what Dr. Chawet San just mentioned right now. Um, he reiterated the allocation of Pfizer vaccines, which will be given um, access uh, to foreigners living in Thailand as well. And also he mentioned that there have been to date a total of 334 patients, COVID patients, who have died following vaccination. Um, but within that number, investigations for 278 cases have concluded and confirmed that the cause of death within those cases is not related or connected to vaccines that were administered. So we'd like to stress that. And for the remaining um, cases, these are still being investigated and we will bring updates to you as soon as the information is available. Now let me move along and give you another update of the total number of vaccines that have been administered to the Thai population. And of course, that means everyone living in Thailand, including foreign nationals as well. We have to date 22.5 million doses administered. And yesterday, we administered 219,840 doses of vaccines. And this is also a good number that we achieved yesterday. Now, while I'm talking about vaccines, let me also mention another update of the number of foreign nationals who have administered, uh, excuse me, who have registered via um, our expatvac.consular.go.th platform. These foreign nationals have registered for appointments for vaccinations and that total number of, um, which is um, as of yesterday, 12th of August, the total number is 48,941. And of course, this is increasing and we're very happy that you are um, joining um, us in creating herd immunity for our country. Let me also remind you that foreign nationals do not need to register only via this platform. There is also the option of registering for an appointment with a hospital that you have prior medical history or even via private hospitals that offer vaccines for purchase. You can look up the latest information from the thailandintervac.com website. And now I'd also like to respond to some concerns raised by some foreign nationals living in Thailand regarding the availability of Pfizer vaccines who have registered on our platform. Allow me to clarify that registration for appointments in the expatvac .consular.go.th website will enable access to your first dose of vaccine for the time being for three manufacturers, and these are Sinovac, AstraZeneca, and Pfizer. How we allocate these vaccines depends on the availability of the vaccines and 
Vaccines are therefore distributed through the same criterion that are applied to Thais and foreign nationals alike. Unfortunately, like many other countries in the world, Thailand does not have the privilege of offering registrants the opportunity to select their vaccine of choice, as we are still facing a worldwide shortage of vaccine supply. The practice is standard and the same in many other countries where the general public will be allocated vaccines as per availability, not per choice of brand. But we assure you that every government will allocate the vaccines, whichever vaccines are available, as soon as possible and to as many people as possible to help generate herd immunity. And as previously mentioned, and also Dr. Tuetsan just right now mentioned, let me elaborate once more that the 1.5 million doses of Pfizer vaccine that have been donated by the US government will be distributed to the most vulnerable groups of people, which include frontline medical workers as a booster dose, high risk groups living in areas with a higher fatality rate, as well as foreign nationals belonging to risk groups. And also, some Pfizer vaccines will be allocated to those who need to travel abroad for essential reasons, such as students. Now, let me move along and give you the new reported confirmed cases for today. We have reported 23,418 new confirmed cases, 388 are from penitentiaries, and we have a total of 212,179 active cases or patients that are being treated in medical facilities right now. We have a good number of new recoveries today, standing at 20,083 patients. Um, we also have regrettably new fatalities, standing at 184 cases. And Bangkok is still the area with highest numbers of fatalities, today standing at 71 and 67% of fatalities are those aged 60 and over. Now, let me move along and talk about some observations from the CCESA operational meeting this morning. We found that Bangkok still has the highest numbers of infections today at 5,140 cases, Samut Prakan, came in second today with 1,936 cases, and Samut Sakon now has reported 1,847 cases. And we find that more infections have been found at large gatherings, such as funeral events, and therefore Ministry of Public Health has urged that physical distancing must be um, must be observed much more strictly and organizers of such events refrain from providing snacks or foods to attendees so as to reduce the risk of infections. And also in the public transportation sector has been found that more taxi drivers are being infected with COVID. Also infections are still being reported in factories, markets, and construction or factory worker campsites, particularly in the central, in the eastern, and southern regions of the country where new clusters of infections have been detected. And therefore, the Ministry of Public Health underlines the need to increase inoculation in every province and for risk groups in Bangkok and surrounding provinces, as well as the seven provinces designated as the maximum controlled areas 
to quickly curb the spread of the virus and continue to vaccinate the population as soon as possible. And right now, emphasis is being given to pregnant women as we have seen increased cases of infections which have sadly resulted also in deaths. Now, we also spoke about the COVID-19 mobile response team, um, which is right now operating in Bangkok. This team we call the CCRT has been going around in local communities around in Bangkok to carry out active case findings by using antigen test kits. And uh, as of yesterday, a total of 711 tests were administered. Um, and in, those, in that number, 101 cases were found positive and these patients were immediately moved into home isolation or community isolation centers. And allow me to remind you that the number of tests administered daily depends also on the accessibility of the CCRT teams into each community. So the number will fluctuate depending on accessibility. And uh, we think that the CCRT will help detect and confirm early cases of COVID infections, and this will help bring those um, confirmed cases into treatment as soon as possible, and this will also reduce further infections within the community, and we encourage and appreciate the hard work that's being done by the CCRT teams. Now, allow me to give you some updates that we can look forward to in the near future. And I hope we have some slides to show. Um, so we have today um, some more information about another new homegrown vaccine being developed in Thailand by the National Center for Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology, or the Biotech. They are expecting to have two COVID-19 nasal spray vaccine candidates to enter the first phase of human trials later this year. And the Biotech's Veterinary Health Innovation and Management Research Group has mentioned that the two candidates are adenovirus-based and influenza-based, with tests already been completed in mice, and these are producing very positive results. Uh, the vaccine candidates are being jointly developed with a pharmaceutical company called Kingen Biotech and meet good manufacturing practices and safety standards. And we do find and hope that um, Biotech will be launching human trials very soon. And they will also be doing an adenovirus-based vaccine candidate against the Delta variant. And we hope um, that uh, they will meet with success very soon as well. So now I have one, okay. You can see now on the slides here is a very, um, actually very useful infographic. I'd like to give credit to Thailand Now website. If you haven't visited this website, it's very useful, um, lots of good information about what's going on in Thailand as well. So you'll see that we have now actually five homegrown vaccines being developed in Thailand. Now, before I leave, let me give you one more important update and that is on Monday, 16th of August, we will be convening a general CCSA meeting to review our current public health and disease control measures. Uh, we previously set this for the 18th of August, but decided to shift this up to Monday. So please stay in tune for new updates on Monday. And the focus of the meeting will be on whether we will be extending our current measures until the end of August or not. 
Also, we are going to reschedule our press briefings to be three days a week starting next week. We will have our briefings now every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Please stay safe and healthy and stay at home as much as possible over the weekend. Kokunka, Swadika.